There were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog. <sighs> they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The leader of the pack was killed. The little cub turned into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Okay. Your actions and decision will have consequences. I wonder how this episode is going to play out because Daniel's not here. And thus, we can't really affect him too much. I also wonder where we're going to start off. Like, are we going to start off right where we left off or right or so or soon after? There's the, uh, picnic thing. The picnic table where inside episode one. Why are we back here? This might be a dream. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Oh, maybe this is... I wish I'd listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. It's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. Oh, this is definitely so, a dream. Why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please. Come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. <gasps> Stop! Absolutely no count. Two months after the blast at Merrill's. Two months? Oh my god.
Fuck. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Coma? Can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Fucking what? Was in coma for weeks, blind and fucked. In police custody, going to jail soon. Hops will freak me out with Daniel. I'm scared. Try to draw to kill time. This room feels a cage, but I suck now. Yeah, that perception is shit. Picking up immediate Ryan Green woke up going crazy. Flora, she's trying to bond with me, trap me or trust me, so fucked. Cost can't still find Daniel at the explosion, so he's out uh, there alone. I believe that Daniel, wherever you are, Cla Claire and Stephen send me a nice letter. So lonely, I read it twice. Weird, I miss him. So good to hear from Captain Spear, too. Glad he's doing fine. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's still around. Wish you could play with Cascan. Greed kills for what? Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Cassidy's letter. I miss Cass so much. But you spice it. Wish she could hold me in her arms right now. First, you spice it. Uh. Uh, writing, if anybody else is using, fuck you. My house is broken up with Finn's F, and we can all believe that someone was, was like, I doubt, I have dreams about him all the time, yeah. It was a fuck up, but he was out fuck up in family. I truly hope you're okay after what happened. For me, I don't remember much exception. Well, then I woke up to the hospital with blunt trauma, healing, and what doctor call blast leg injury, hurting. Uh, I can still play guitar and sing, though I don't feel like it. I miss playing with sync commodity. You probably know more about what's going on, but Hannah, Perry, and I released our charges. The police were stoked to bust the farm of drug testers rather than us gutter punks toiling in the farm. We asked you to, we asked, we were asked about you and Daniel, but got no answers. Surprise. So, with Finn gone, our family is real kill. Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping all over, but it feels like we're in loop somewhere. Hannah and Perry aren't the same, and we fight too much. I'm not even sure. Uh... We can get much on shit changes, you and Daniel. Okay. Yay. Stupid reality shows. This must be my punishment. Can't catch shit. <sighs> Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. So, okay. I feel, okay. I kind of feel like if I didn't, if it, Daniel was in a, injured in last year, I wouldn't be losing an eye, but I, yeah. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh. Guess I'm done. This is definitely gonna have to take some getting used to. Cause I also feel like that we're also stuck on the right side now, you know? Yeah. It's so hard to focus. <sighs> Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Okay. 
wish I could find a highway to freedom. Chinosaba. Yo, afternoon checkup. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm. I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good, good. Keep going. Straining too hard? Headache? Nah. I just can't really focus today. Sorry. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Okay, uh... That's too far. That's too far. I... think that's hey, good. Hey, good job! Okay. okay. Let's do it again. Uh, Your depth perception will always be affected, so you gotta try harder. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. <sighs> Come on. No. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. Well, I know it sucks for you, but... <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dressing. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> we ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch them. Yes, true. Your job. All right. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. Not how much we told her. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to... Go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. 
until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being, who knows? I hear you, but you're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. We have a young homicide victim shot to death. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus two seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's a statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. Okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? Finn. It was his idea to rip off Mero. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? He lied. I didn't want to help. But he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was gonna happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friend had to learn the hard way. With his life. They didn't deserve it. We all make mistakes. Yeah, well, some mistakes are worse than others. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Fuck. I can't. She didn't want anything to do with this. Bet you wish you were back on the farm, asshole. Sorry, Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Lotus? Yes. Anything oh. else? Nope. You want me to call? Alright. Everything okay? Well, she said enough, then enough. You know the rules, son. No, honey. I told you I was gonna be away for a while. I'm sorry, okay? We gotta be good. Okay. Bonella, will you down the phone, please? Yeah. Love you. Hold on. Good. No fair. Todavía está en el hospital, mi niña. Sí. Sí. Mañana por la noche. Mi vuelo sale a las nueve. No. Y él dice que no. 
está todo el día con el playbook. Pero no quiero que terminen, por favor. Uh -huh. Y bueno, déjale. Sale. Sí, mañana nos vemos. There's drawings in the oh, shit. Ah. Uh... Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The bureau put his profile out over four states, so we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you gonna find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? Great. Detective Flores said I'm free to go. Woohoo. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. But I'm not. I've done too many mistakes. I let everybody down. I lost Daniel. And I'm going to juvie. This is all bullshit. Now let's check this out. Are we gonna see what it looks like? The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Yeah. Stuck in jail is a big change. Can't wait. Sorry, Joey. I'm being a dickhead. Just bummed out. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now, as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. I wonder if we can see what it looks like, or... Coat the area using the swab and cream. I feel like I'm gonna have to remember then this. Wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a chip. Oh shit! <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. <sighs> Joey, you are her boss. Yep. My art is trash now.
Okay, well, okay, came up. Pat Stevens leg is better. Must be tough on Claire. Uh, okay, you find you awake and safe and awake. Uh, the count, police contact when you found unconscious in Hepa County. We weren't allowed to visit you in the hospital. We, we, we recover as it. The doctor said you woke up from that coma shortly before. That was the funny thing is fine, Daniel. We are hoping, uh, yeah, hoping the police any way we can. Uh, I know it's so hard if the brother, family, take care. Chris intended to write a little note. I, it's Satchel. I know he doesn't know Daniel's missing. Don't know if we'll ever come back, Chris. Hmm. That's that little superhero. Uh, when I come back, that has been bad lately, says so, uh, and we're officially not summer here. Uh, we know stuff outside. All the snow's gone. You should come back to see BBQ. All snow. Yes, swamp bugs. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. A new perspective. Oh. So I see. Hmm. Instructions for getting out of here. So the so the entire socket is like the entire eye is gone. Shit. Can't catch shit. <sighs> Zero depth. Goodbye, sports. What? Wow. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, let's read it. Because I, I don't think there'll be anything new. Until you add it in, but never know. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten year old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait. What's that? Super Wolf. <laughs> Does that mean? It means that Daniel. Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? He's safe? I could see him again. Huh. Follow back a few things from your tent. We will give them back to you when you come looking for you, Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. All I gotta do, Haven Point, Nevada. Haven Point. I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape tonight. <laughs> 